Last note of graphing, when we're analyzing position versus time graphs, the slope of the line will give us some information. Recall earlier that the slope was used to describe the motion. The slope of a position versus time graph is the change in location per change in time, which is the velocity. So the slope is equal to the velocity on a position versus time graph. If we look at three graphs, this is an object that experiences a positive displacement. So if we look, our starting location is here, our ending location is there, our displacement or our delta x is in the positive direction, it's increasing in this graph and that will have a positive constant velocity. In this case, our initial location is there, our final location is there, our displacement is negative in sign. When we have a negative displacement, we have a negative slope or a negative velocity. And here our initial and final locations are the same. Therefore, there is no displacement. If there's no displacement, the velocity is zero. So a positive velocity means an object is moving in the positive direction and negative velocity means you're moving in the negative direction and a zero velocity means there's no displacement whatsoever. Uh, we can use these position versus time graphs to make computations of motion. So we can describe in words what's happening to velo the velocity of these objects. If we look at the first object, the blue object, car 1, car 1 maintains the same value for location as time goes on. So its velocity is 0. Let's take a look at the initial location for car 3. It starts off at negative 5 and ends up at about positive 15. Its displacement is positive. If its displacement is positive, its velocity is greater than 0. Car 3 starts off with a location of about positive 10 meters and ends up with a location of negative 10. Its displacement is negative. Its delta x is negative, its velocity is negative, its velocity is less than zero. So again, this is a positive slope, a positive velocity. The red car has a negative slope, a negative velocity, and the blue car has zero slope, a zero velocity.